It's basically a jet plane, but without the wings. Capable of breathtaking speeds, the Bloodhounds mission is to shatter the land speed record. It was set by Andy Green at 1,227 kilometers an hour some 22 years ago. Green is also the Bloodhounds driver. The Bloodhound initially started out slow at 300 km an hour. It slowly built up speed, reaching 600 km an hour after two weeks in the desert. And then they went for the magical number, wrapping up testing having achieved 1010 km an hour. While the Bloodhound was fast, it will need a record engine to propel it through the speed of sound. We're going to need some more power to get uh, in the 20 kilometers we have here to get up to 1,300 kilometers an hour and then stop the car safely. So principally that involves fi fitting a rocket motor down in the uh, underneath the jet engine. Bladon hopes that the successful test will bring sponsors on board. The entire project was nearly abandoned a year ago when it did financial problems. Jan Wurst bought the company, saving it. We are obviously busy talking to sponsors, trying to get people on board for sponsorship. I have no doubt that when, uh, when people see this car in the desert at the speed it's going to go down. And the fact that we've got here is a reality that we're going to be inundated with people wanting to sponsor this car. But while the British are responsible for the magic under the hood, locals here at Axkempan have been busy with the magic of their own for the past 10 years. They've removed more than 16,000 tons of stone from the pan, making it the best racetrack in the world. It was an amazing feeling for all these years, working here for 10 years, and actually can touch the car and see the car and hear it start. It was like an amazing. The area is already benefiting, with tourists visiting the area. But plans are already afoot for a post bloodhound economic injection. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Haxkienpan, in the Northern Cape.